What's up everyone, it's Ryan from Disney Pins Blog, and today I want to show you a closer look at my Heroes vs. Villains in Epic Showdown Virtual Pin Event Hall. So I didn't get too many of the pin releases for the 2021 annual pin event. There just weren't a lot that fit in with my personal collection, but I did get a few here just to take a look at them. I uh, got the mystery pin boxes as well. There's three different collections this year of the mystery pin boxes. Uh, but first up is this logo pin, and it's huge. It's basically like a little uh, jumbo, and then these pins here on each side slide into the pin, so you can display the hero and the villain. And they also correspond with the mystery pin box. So the mystery pin box, which is limited release, those pins fit into this jumbo logo pin for the event. Of course, this event is virtual again this year for 2021. It's on Saturday, December 4th. The pin event itinerary is already up. I'll leave a link below to the blog post in case you guys want to check that out. One of the things that I got was the Peter Pan pin set. It's in this little booklet. You open it up and there are four different pins on the inside. I love this Peter Pan one there. There's a Captain Hook. There's a little Peter Pan hat that says Brave on it. And then the Captain Hook hat that says Determination. So this is one of the items I got for myself. Also got the Darkwing Duck action figure pin set. This is uh, two pins on a card. Retail price is $30 for this one. And this was originally a quarterly collection for 2021 at Walt Disney World. So if you guys didn't know, this event um, is usually held in person at Epcot. It has been around since I believe the early 2000s, whenever pin trading first started. And it happens every single year, usually September timeframe, end of August at Epcot. Last year's it was virtual because of COVID. And then this year again was also virtual. Uh, but fingers crossed for next year in person again, it should be. Next up, another favorite of mine is the DuckTales pin. I really like the design on this one because it has a really nice layered element to it. But the top part here is clear, and then in the back you can see that pin on pin. Just a, a very unique design. And this one was $21.99. Forget the edition size on this one. Let me take a quick look here on the back. This is limited edition of 1000. There's a closer look at the pin. Love that one. Look how thick it is too to get that layered look. And there's a look at the back. Exclusive to the Heroes vs. Villains event. I'm assuming the leftover pins for the event will be appearing at Epcot. They usually do at uh, Pin Trading Headquarters. That's what happened last year with the leftover pin releases. Alright, next up are the framed spinner pins. We have Lion King here first with the silver frame. And then on the back side there you can see the other side of the pin with Scar. This was $21.99 as well. I think these were at least $750 or $1,000. Next up is the Beauty and the Beast one. So the hero side is Beast. And then the villain side is Gaston there in the back. This one here is gorgeous with Maleficent Dragon. Love that. Beautiful frame on this one as well. And then flipping it over the back, you have Maleficent and Aurora. Here is the Princess and the Frog pin with Tiana and Prince Naveen. And then on the flip side, you have... Dr. Facilier. And then lastly, we have the Little Mermaid. There is Ariel and Eric on the front side. And then flipping over the back, you have Ursula and King Triton. So that's the Spinner Collection. Now we'll get into probably my favorite from the uh, entire event because there's a uh, Chernabog pin in here, which I thought was awesome. And it's limited edition of just 250. So low edition size here on this box set. The retail price for this was $175, so quite pricey, but these pins are beautiful. They are sculpted metal on the front with a shiny chrome finish. And then here's my favorite one, the Chernabog. Love that pin. Definitely a keeper for me. There they are all opened up. You have Ursula, Captain Hook, Maleficent, and Scar and then Chernabog and Gaston. Beautiful designs on these pins. All right, and then lastly, we'll get into the mystery pin boxes. I did get all three and three of each. These spinner pins here are huge and heavy. Here's the uh, Chicken Little one. 
heads or tails. Got the villain on the back. They are a limited edition of 900. But whenever I opened up this set, I was just su surprised at how big and heavy these pins are. I did get two Chicken Littles. Then I got Woody and Mowgli. Got lots on the back of the Woody one. And Cheer Khan on the back of the Jungle Book. Here's the Hades one. And it has Hercules on the back. And the last one then is Mickey Mouse. And it has Mortar Mouse on the back. Then here's what I got in the second mystery box set. Six different pins here, all uniques, no doubles. And these are limited edition of just 450. And then finally we have the limited release mystery pin set. These are the ones that go in the logo jumbo pin. You can see I got two Robin Hoods there at the top. Love the Scrooge McDuck one. And then here. Then I also got Star Wars and Marvel mixed in. I right, hope you guys enjoyed my little Heroes vs. Villains pin event haul. I will leave a link below to the itinerary and the entire pin catalog in case you guys missed it. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya. Yeah.